hey guys welcome back to my channel and um, kibiba africa for those who don't know me guys so it's been a long time since i did a, a sit on video or going to live so pretty soon i'll be going on live and this time i want to just sit down and talk about certain things about youtube my life how youtube has impacted me in my life and so on so guys let's get started and the first thing that i will say is how youtube as how being a youtube content creator has impacted my lifestyle or or my relationships in general so i'll say at first it's difficult to start um taking videos or walking alone <laughs> on the roads talking to a camera uh, it gets difficult even now but with time you get used to to it it becomes a lifestyle and will become you become used to being on the camera and you be completely a different person before is not before i didn't like talking in public or in front of people but nowadays i'm more confident so far guys i'll say it's been awesome though time consuming but it has helped me a lot for like being used to the camera at first it was very difficult <laughs> at first it was very difficult but it's time I got used to being on camera. Yes, guys. And then I also thank my mom because she has been the one behind motivating me daily. I wanted to give up YouTube at the beginning of this year. But her motivation kept me going. Yes, guys. And... I've learned to be creative. I'm learning. I'm still learning to be creative. I've not, I've not gotten there yet, but I'm. Uh, but I have to create time for learning on how to be more creative, more so on editing. Okay, especially that, in order for the content to be fun. <laughs> Guys, I don't like. Uh, repeating videos that's why you don't see me uh, always putting on village vlogs because i've done like some of the things i've done but i've noticed youtube doesn't it doesn't matter if you repeat the content but it's for me i don't like but i have to adjust and start doing so yeah and guys i love i love being on youtube i just love it yeah the people love asking me outside of youtube not even time outside of youtube do you work either full-time part-time being a student or i make a full-time youtuber so guys of youtube i what am i saying? i don't work i've made youtube uh, full-time since i've been searching for work but no uh, it's Japanese Kiwa, so I've decided to make YouTube a full-time job, and I have to to start being that serious and consistent, and being consistent in uploading. So yeah, <clears throat> it is the most rewarding aspect of being a YouTube creator for me. For me. After I have more time with my family, also my son, I have uh, enough time to spend with him. Yes, guys, and my mom. Since I have more time with my family, I create my own space and I've been social. I'm not a social person, but it has made me be I'm more open to talking to people. Yeah. What motivated me to become a content creator youtube content creator and um, first of all i used to love taking videos i had my first camera when i was i'd finished college so i bought my own camera 
and I started, I used to love taking photos of my family members, videos, yeah, to capture moments. And then after a while I stopped, I lost the camera. Then came to bear, my sister, my younger sister, advised me to join and start uh, taking videos and uploading them and being a YouTube creator. At first I was hesitant because I wasn't ready, but I thank her because when I was ready, I told her I was ready and I started it. And she explained how YouTube works, the editing for a short period of time, but with time she told me, she, she used to send me links of tutorials on how to edit videos yeah and learn more about youtube when she went back to nairobi and since then i started creating content i've been enjoying it and it has been my escape by allowing me to be wherever i want i've learned a lot I didn't know I have a creative side a little bit, but I'm still learning. Yeah, guys. And it has given me a platform to share my life here in the village. And my love for taking videos, village lifestyle. It has made me feel less isolated since I don't have many friends in the village. That's the bad thing of staying in one city for a long time. If you relocate, it's very hard to find new friends. Because you're surrounded with family, and you know a village like Iki Iko. So I'm not joining you as a Russia, I'm in Kenya, I'm not joining. Ever since YouTube has been my escape food, and it allows me to become whoever I want. Yes, guys. And I have my own space to do anything I want because yeah. most of the time uh, you can get lost. How do I differentiate my niche, my content from other content creators? And for my niche, I do mostly village vlogs since I'm at the village and I don't differentiate myself from other content creators because other content creators also do village vlogs mainly village vlogs for me i do village vlogs and other random videos here yeah. i could ask a youtube coach and um, one question what will it be i'll ask um, what tricks are other village lifestyle channels doing that i might be missing yeah guys because I guess I'm missing something. You can also tell me in the comment section what I might be missing on doing my village vlogs. I'd really love to be told some tips <laughs> or what I'm, some tricks or what I'm doing wrong that might be missing. Are the three, three things that has proven um, to always bring results in my work. So I would say mostly village vlogs, most people, because since I started doing village vlogs, so most people and most of my loyal subscribers and all of you are watching, but mostly uh, the subscribers I started with, they they loved my village, village life vlogs. So when I put some of them, I can notice a difference on the views and the subscribers also so the most challenging part of my journey as a youtube content creator so far is i know you've noticed being consistent being consistent in uploading has become quite a challenge and it's challenging also and but it's rewarding at the same time but the challenges is one the reason why I'm not consistent is sometimes there is power off in the village and maybe you want to do some something and then all of a sudden the lights go off, the phone is uh, on low battery and you know in the village they take like three days or so 
to bring back the electricity so it gets I become lazy I might admit I, I must admit I become lazy kabisa na kwa lazy and then another thing is the bundles the data sometimes financially since I have a, a school going kid so sometimes they ask for things and yeah for money for this and that so sometimes you can't just pay for the data and then the school and the kid doesn't go to school it's not that uh, simple and the quality of the content but now i thank god i got a, a new camera so I, you've noticed a bit of a difference with the quality of my content it's clear uh, and another thing is coming up with fresh new ideas the ideas i have this <laughs> you have to have money to go over there and do some vlogs so yeah so financial difficulty that is one of the challenges the second one is uploading consistently i've become lazy but i'll change i want to start doing consistently yeah um, gaining viewers and subscribers also has become a challenge but that doesn't uh, bother me the thing that bothers me is getting new ideas that are educational educative informative yeah something like that and mastering the technical aspect of editing also that is a challenge i need to go to master class i need to enroll hey yeah so those are the and last but not least initially creating thumbnails <laughs> but generally the time it takes to create is overwhelming do i think if it's possible to go full time on youtube in one year oh hell yeah if you are consistent and you're very serious unlike me but i have to start being serious guys so which aspect of being a content creator do i find rewarding first of all and mostly building a community i love building my community and second one is sharing knowledge and experiences how do i balance my personal life with content creating i find my time when my son has already gone to school since he goes to the, uh, from 6 30 and comes back right now when we've seen him around 5 30 also and yeah that's the time i get to do my videos and content creating and if i have not done the whole of the week i find time and do on saturday one or two hours and editing i edit at night if i'm not waking up very early mm, that's how i balance my work and my personal life what part of content creation process do i spend a lot of time and most of my time is first of all editing and the second one is planning the content i'm about to put out for you guys so another one is what goal have i just hit I've just hit and what am i aiming for next after getting monetized within a year that was really a huge milestone since i just started and i really thank you for subscribing for supporting me and being with me all the way till now that i've reached 3350 subscribers and my next milestone 
I would say 10, but let's be just sincere. 5k sub is okay for now. That's what I'm aiming at. And but mainly to post more complex videos that I'd love to share that I've learned recently about YouTube and that made my life as a, as a creator a bit easier is the fact that we can start uh, before we are ready and use uh, the equipment, skills, editing software we already have. So if you want to start creating content, just start because being a content creator and you want to start, it doesn't need, need um, if you have a phone, the phone that you're using, you can start from there and then you'll go up. And the editing software that we just, we already have, you can just start. Like for me, I started using InShot and then I went to Power Director. So CapsCut is also there. So you can start from there and then you can upgrade later primary goal that I had for my channel in the coming year was first improving my video quality and thanks to a subscriber now I can say my videos have improved another one is increasing frequency in uploading <laughs> as I said earlier I've become very lazy I have to be consistent guys I have to be consistent and serious and but I'd love to have a bigger and a stronger community mostly youths here to start doing it because mostly don't have most of them don't have they say most they don't have a, a good phone a smartphone to be precise they have the Mulika Mwizi, you can see, and yeah, I wish I had money to support them, but with time, they'll get there, and since I've started one, Kenani, you can, you've seen Kenani African TV, there are a small group of youths that are willing to do short videos, drama in Kisi, but they're talking in our language, but yeah, it's something that start. What will I give someone that is thinking about starting their own channel <coughs> on YouTube? First of all, I'll say patience. Patience is key. And being motivated. And please upload, upload consistently. Uh, I've learned the hard way. Don't put... Uh, you can get music from your YouTube library. They are free and yeah, not I'm copyrighted. Mm. Uh, Paul, yeah. And don't use other people's content because also that will get a strike or will be copyrighted also. And yeah, it is hard but you'll get there. It has challenges but just keep on is plan ideas for weeks or even months before you even start your first video because if you upload first your first video and you don't have another video to upload next or the next you become lazy and you'll get bored It only starts with a click. Just click your video and go on. Never give up. Consistency is key. Yeah, that is all. That is what I've been singing all along. Consistency is key. And always give it your time. And always give your time to in editing, in uploading the video, in what to do. Don't focus on others. Plan your own strategy. Because if you follow others or you 
you focus on other people, you will, up, you will end up giving up on YouTube and quitting YouTube. Because if you make it a race, I get, <laughs> there's no racing in YouTube. Just go with your own pace and do what you love. Yeah, just keep up. Yeah, trust the process. Work on your, on your thumbnail. Like, I need to also start working on my thumbnail. And try to connect with your community. I've also told you don't reuse content of others from other social networks also. Don't. I advise you don't, 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 please don't. Fall in love with the process and not just the results. Don't base your worth on views and subscribers. Guys, do it because you love it. Because if you learn to love what you do, you won't mind the views and the subscribers. You just enjoy loving it. And yeah, last but not least, I have two remaining ones that I want to tell you, share with you. Just remember no one is you. No one can ever be you and you aren't anyone else. So just be you. Always seek improvement, even if it's 1% every day. That's an advice I'm going to tell you. Whoever is watching me and wants to start a, a YouTube channel. So, and it is really intimidating at first, but just do it. And don't mind the main comments. Some of them are criticism, constructive criticism, but others... If you see that they really, really, uh, they don't mean well, just, just say thank you and move forward. Lower your expectations also and focus on the value you are giving to your viewers. That is also another advice I'm going to leave it with you. And stop worrying about what people think, what other people think. And don't let negative thoughts stop you from doing what you love or posting. Just work on you and on your presentation. And how to handle negative comments or criticism on my channel. What I do is I just roll with it sometimes. Sometimes I take it if it's constructive. Sometimes I just ignore and delete the main comment if it's not it doesn't mean well and move on but if I see that that person is coming too strong on me I'll just say thank you for watching my video and taking your time to watch my video and that's it yeah so that's it for today's video bye for now and see you on the next one